Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your October 2023 general reading. We are looking at the first half of October from the 1st through the 15th, and this reading is for the air sign of Aquarius. I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks so much for being here, for taking the time to watch these videos. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, especially that like button. Really smash that one because it really does help. And thank you to those of you who do, uh, who comment, those of you who reach out for personal readings, who refer and recommend me to others. My gratitude and appreciation and so many blessings back to you. Okay, Aquarius, if your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is an Aquarius, if you are cross-watching for an Aquarian, this video is relevant for you. It's a general reading, so of course it may resonate a little differently for everyone. So if you know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, any or all of those signs, watch those videos as well for additional insight into your life. And if you find that something really grabs you, it really resonates with you, and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, or you simply like the reading style, if you are interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info by clicking the title or description of this video. I would love to hear from you and I can usually respond within the same day uh, with more information. I do offer quite a wide variety of reading choices of all different types, lengths, costs, budgets in all areas of life. There's something there for everyone. So uh, if you're interested, please email me. And I do readings full time. It's all that I do. So in terms of scheduling personal readings, uh, I'm able to do the scheduling in a fairly timely manner too. So something to keep in mind if you are interested. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look at the first half of October for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider weight. We begin with the Ace of Cups. Aces represent a new start, a new beginning, a new path opening up, a new opportunity. This is the Ace of Water, which governs our heart space, our emotional landscape. So it might be new love and romance for some of you. The heart opening up again. Uh, some kind of emotional renewal in an area of life doesn't necessarily need to be love. It can also be the beginning of self-love and self-value. With the Ace of Cups, we have the Six of Cups. For some of you, this might be a new soulmate union because the Six of Cups is one of the traditional soulmate cards, not the Two of Cups, but it's kind of a secondary soulmate card. This card does represent typically connections with the past, old friends, old lovers, family, childhood, roots of origin, where you grew up, where you come from, all of that. Uh, or it, And it can also represent that feeling we had when we were children, you know, that sort of childlike, uh, carefree sort of energy as well. Some of you may simply just be falling in love. It may be an emotional renewal into a previous uh, situation or relationship. Outside of the realm of love or relationships, this can represent literally falling in love with something that you thought about when you were younger or thought about in the past or even thought about when you were a child. Next, we have the Four of Coins. Sometimes considered the miser card as it can represent stinginess or stagnation, but I don't feel like it does here. I think this represents the best of the balance of the Four of Coins, which is being stable, secure, being careful, being economical. It represents somebody who is working to build stability for themselves and they're careful. <laughs> With the Knight of Wands, um, I'm laughing, not at you, I'm laughing, well, kind of, but not in a bad way. I'm laughing, Aquarius, because Knights always represent offers and opportunities and the speed at which situations move. And the Knight of Wands is very fast because he's governed by fire. That's the element which governs the suit of wands. So this is a very you know i mean the suit of wands is fire which is desire and passion excitement enthusiasm creativity inspiration a real excitement raring to go kind of energy here's the opportunity here it can be a card of travel and movement forward as well knights take what they learned as pages and they they begin to charge out in the world and begin to manifest with it very excited energy here it's almost as if you're feeling very excited about something or very over the moon about something, but you're trying to kind of keep a lid on it or keep a handle on it or kind of maintain this even temperate energy between, you know, dancing all over the place and, and just kind of, you know, being stable. We'll see how it plays out. 
Next we, and this whole reading kind of gives me this uplifted sort of exciting feel. Next we have the world, the last major arcana card in the tarot. What does that mean? Well, it means one cycle of the tarot has completed. So the first card, major arcana card in the tarot is the fool. The last card is the world right so all the cards in between the fool and the world are about a particular cycle of the tarot meaning a cycle of our life a chapter of our life a set of chapters in our life that have been significant and then the world is is where that completes we've reached a milestone and then when we move on to a, a whole another landscape full of different options and opportunities this can be traditional uh, chapters in our life like childhood into adult leaving home for the first time getting your first job your first home getting married getting divorced um, death and then renewal after that I mean lots of different things but major completion here with the world some cycle is coming some significant aspect or cycle chapter set of chapters of your life is is coming to an end so that you can begin a whole new life path a whole new journey with the world we have the page of wands messages messengers uh, young people the page of wands is a page of fire this can also represent as pages can also um, being at the start of an introductory path and it's such exciting energy here with the page of wands when i look at the page of wands i i always have this image in my head of this lovely cute little puppy who's just raring to go he's kind of pulling at the leash you know and it's right next to that knight of wands so and with the ace of cups too there's a very lovely excited almost giddy exuberant energy to this which you're trying to kind of maintain a balance with but some cycle is ending and you're starting off on a brand new path now the overall energy and focus for the first half of october is the emperor which is interesting giving all this energy but even the emperor can fall in love and when the emperor falls in love it, there's almost a comical thread in it because the emperor is typically represents you know the final decision maker the judge the ceo the the older person the father the father figure he's got a lot of responsibilities he's, he's worked hard to get to the top but he has a, a big job and a lot of things to do and so he tries to color within the lines and make sure everything kind of adheres to everything you know he lives in a world where everything you know the buses planes and trains need to run on time because otherwise the infrastructure breaks down you know responsible accountable um, on a bad day he can be a bit domineering and controlling but it's in the upright position so it's also attached to the sign of Aries some of you may have Aries aspected for some of you this may this may be a, an individual not you but an individual um, that may be a primary focus and relevance if it's not you for many others though it's you're manifesting the energy of the Emperor um, and if this is a love situation when the Emperor falls in love again there's a comical aspect to it because you know he's so typically controlled most of the time well let's clarify that overall energy of the Emperor goodness six of cups jumped out again another six of cups connections to the past a history to family a soulmate The Knight of Cups, the Knight of Water or of Emotion, um, op offers an opportunities for change driven by love, support, encouragement. Definitely might be love here. Six of Wands, victory, triumph, success after battle, after a challenge, public recognition also can sometimes represent marriage. Maybe you are considering an offer of marriage, getting engaged or, you know, vice versa. I pulled another one. I don't usually pull so many for the overall energy, but I did. So here's justice, contracts, negotiations, working in your favor, honor, morality, ethics, things being even and equitable and fair. Maybe marriage for some of you. You may be considering making or accepting an offer. It might be a successful business offer, a merging of some kind. Because I, f I, I have a sense of merge here, of of merging together and again that could be business it could be in relationships well let me clarify that relationships come in all different types all different areas of life right for some of you it might this might be a business work or others of you it might be a love or romance relationship let's clarify that ace of cups 
two cards leaped out. One is the Emperor again, Aquarius. And the other one is the Four of Wands, one of the happy home cards, celebratory events, which include home and family, one of the traditional wedding and marriage cards as well with that Ace of Cups. It's looking like love for a lot of you. Maybe a romantic love or partnership. It, it's got this lovely love, partnership, merging, happiness. Uh, it could be about the whole home, home property itself. It could be buying a home. But for others of you, there's kind of a strong marriage vibe here. But we'll see. Let's clarify this Six of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the Ten of Cups, the other happy home card. Feeling like you finally come to the place where everything is connected again. Peace, harmony, happening, marriage, children, family, judgment, making a significant life path choice. The Knight of Wands again, raring to go. <coughs> it could be that there's a short, I think I inhaled my own. Anyway. <coughs> There could be a short window of opportunity in which to, to do this as well for some of you. It's very fast moving. There, there's fast moving energy. There's a lot of excitement energy. And there's a strong energy around marriage or a union of that sort or home and family about that. I mean, the four of wands, the ten of cups, justice, that six of wands as well. I mean, strong marriage energy for some of you. Let's move on to this Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands because this looks like trying to keep a lid on it, you know, or, or trying to maintain that emperor aura of respectability. I can't appear to be too excited because that's not mature. <laughs> that's kind of almost what I'm getting here. All right, the Four of Coins. What's behind that? <laughs> yeah, it is. Six of Swords. This is a card, sorry, Seven of Swords. This is a card of strategy of concealment behind closed doors things being hidden but here i feel like it's positive because what's being hidden what's behind closed doors the eight so many wands energy the ace of wands the eight of wands exciting new beginnings uh desire passion creativity exuberance excitement movement travel cupid's arrows okay Knight of Wands, which we have twice. The Two of Cups, traditional soulmate, kindred spirit, partnership. The Sun. What an absolutely superb reading, Aquarius. Light, love, warmth, laughter, vacation, illumination, enlightenment. Any previously heavier restrictive energies being uplifted, negated, lessened. It's beautiful energy because the sun affects all the cards in a tail just like it does when it shines out in the world, right? It, it, it feels very much like you're really excited about this thing, this partnership, this union, this energy. It may be if it's in business and work, you're still over the moon about it because it's something that positively impacts and benefits your home and family, whatever that means for you. But again, you're trying to like keep a lid on it. Let's clarify the world. <clears throat> the Three of Cups. Your tribe, your people, your family, positive social connections in your community, celebration, the traditional party card. Celebrating the end of a cycle, the Ace of Cups again with the Ace of Swords, which is the Ace of Error, intellect, the intellectual landscape, Again, that Ace of Cups, that heart just opening right up. An enlightenment, epiphany. You may have seen something um, that you didn't see before. Or seen something from a brand new, different perspective. Clarify the Page of Wands. The Fool. Starting a brand, I mean, right with the world, right? We're starting a brand new life cycle, a brand new journey. You're not sure of the path, you're not sure of the destination. 
you might sometimes be a little freaked out by it because it's this is stepping off the, the beaten path and, and into the unknown and, and a leap of faith and outside of your comfort zone, but it's exciting nonetheless the empress there's so much relationship love home marriage energy here we have the emperor and the empress a natural duo a natural pairing here we have you know the ace of cups twice we have the knight of wands twice we have both the happy home cards the sun temperance healing i mean if this isn't a relationship romantic love situation it affects one you could look at this as a beautiful business merger, but again, there's so many cards. I mean, this is, I try and interpret in the general readings from a variety of different areas for all you guys watching, but this, some are like this one are really heavily skewed in the relationship area as well, or home and family things which benefit that. I mean, beginnings, the Empress is also a card of fertility, so it could be maybe if you've been wanting to grow your family or finding out that you're pregnant, you're going to have a child, it could be that as well. There is an abundance of of celebratory energy social energy love and just like i'm starting off on a whole brand new chapter a whole new door a new chapter of my life is opening up and i'm moving forward on that and that's what i'm seeing here i think i'm just gonna leave it there it's a beautiful reading all right aquarius any final messages guidance advice from spirit strength facing your fears your doubts your insecurities nine of swords do not overthink this too much <clears throat> nine of cups wish fulfillment abundance your cards overflowing with abundance building something long lasting and stable the star renewed restored hope faith and optimism never give up hope never give up never give up and the Knight of Swords, the most decisive, I think, of them all. The Knight takes all the information and research that he gained as a page, and he takes that and he decisively moves forward to begin manifesting with it. So, no holds barred. This is just charging forth and doing it. What a beautiful, beautiful energy. All right. Aquarius, those are your messages for the first half of October. I hope you enjoyed them, found them helpful, useful, relevant, hopeful. It's spectacularly bright reading. Again, if this resonated with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, or you simply like the reading style, if you are interested in a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, or both, feel free to email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can also see that contact info by clicking the title or description of this video. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the October mid-month general readings. Stay safe and well. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.